Hello everybody, happy Spooktober and welcome to Nanoleaf headquarters. As you might know, Nanoleaf has a wide assortment of different smart lights, including the ones you see behind us, and our essentials lights, which we're going to be showcasing to you guys today in a one-of-a-kind DIY Halloween pumpkin challenge. Each of us is going to be doing a different secret DIY project, and at the end, you guys are going to vote who wins the grand prize, which is... Absolutely nothing. The best prize of all. Really all you could ever hope for. Are you ready to get started? Are you ready to get crushed? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to have a nice, fair competition. All right, then let's get started. So for my idea, I was thinking about the Essentials light bulb, and also, we have a new Sense Plus switch, which has a motion sensor in it. It would be cool if the trick-or-treaters walk up and then the pumpkin lights up, is my concept. I'm basically going to carve this into a very spooky, scary jack-o'-lantern. Then I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom for this bulb. And then outside the house, I will mount this and it will make it light up, is my concept. Let's see how that goes. Typically, you would pre-draw the face, but I'm going for speedrun, so uh, <clears throat> we're going to freestyle. Wait, no, you don't do the face first. You do the outside first. Okay, you gotta hollow it out first, yes. This is normally in a video where they would like uh, jump cut to it being carved for me, but that's not the life we live today. So if I don't lose at least a finger, I'm gonna consider this a success whether I win or lose. I think my DIY is gonna be cooler. Also, because Nanoleaf Essentials Lights can work with your smart home ecosystem and matter, you can even control it with voice. So technically, even without the motion sensor, you can have it on your front porch. And uh, when you see the children coming, you can turn it on and scare them. Because that's what we want on Halloween, scared children. And that's how you save your candy for yourself. I just realized that for this hack, I only actually needed to cut out the bottom of the pumpkin and not the top. Who doesn't need a little extra arm workout every now and then? Basically what I'm doing now is scooping out the guts so that the inside is empty for our light bulb. That is what I'm going to call empty enough. Now I can cut the bottom hole, which is what I should have done in the first place. The bulb is pretty small, so I feel like the hole can be pretty small. I was considering just turning the pumpkin upside down. I have to win this competition, so I gotta go all the way. There is a lot on the line. Absolutely nothing. Moment of truth. Just the right size. Okay, next step, FaceTime. Again, you would typically draw this out first, but honestly, the better option is to freestyle and hope for the best. If you don't have the Sense Plus switch, you can still use it with your ecosystem and control with the app so you can scare people still from afar. Terrorize the children. Or adults. Honestly, I hear some adults go trick-or-treating, so you can terrorize adults too. Bonus points, even. Generational trauma. Ready? So it looks like this, and then when the children walk up... That's cool. It turned out awesome. Okay, I'd like to see him beat this. I got three pumpkins. I haven't carved a pumpkin since I was a kid, but I came prepared. Let me give you my idea first. I have, I have more things. I got a new light strip. So my idea basically is to carve these three pumpkins into bats. And we're going to string a light strip across each one and have each one light up. Like it's a little, uh, one of those cinema scope things. It's a, it's a little scene with the wings up in the middle, wings down. I think that would be really, really cool. So we'll see how we do it. This might be a big tool for a small job. Carving out the bottom. Get oh wait. You should carve out the top. I see now why you may need a small knife for this. But big dreams require big tools. Ooh, that's so weird. I wonder if it's Oh, it tastes pretty good. I love pumpkin. Now I'm gonna have to do this three times, goddamn. Why did I do this with my bare hands? Ah. This is very unpleasant. I think that's as good as we're gonna get it. Very moist gourd. Now, next one. Why did I choose to do three pumpkins? With that, we have three hollowed out pumpkins. Now it's time to carve my bats, times three. I feel like I should dry these. They're so wet. Let's wipe them down. So what are we thinking? Are we thinking we go wings down and then up and then in the middle then up or up middle down let's have the first one be up it seems like there's more motion going up middle down how does this look that's a fine bat now bat number two picasso we have our animation frame by frame up go middle got down let's get to carving these things okay 
don't know if my knife will be able to do this. I might need a smaller knife. I think I might steal Nano Girl's knife. Here I was, making fun of her tools when it was the right call in the end. Ooh! <laughs> hey, look at that. Look at that little bat. Pretty cute, huh? <laughs> you get a little extra snack for later. So you got up, middle, down, and then we're gonna make that go into like a cool animation. That's where this thing comes in. I have everything I need right here in this package. And it comes in a nice little spool for your convenience. And it's trimmable. You can cut them any which way you want. First, we're gonna cut holes into the side of our pumpkin so that we can string this light strip through. So here we have it. All of my pumpkins have their holes cut into them. We're gonna take one end, we feed the light strip through this thing. Once they're all together and they are in, you're ready to test it. Whoa, look at that. We have it at a certain color, but if we change it to different scenes, you have the bats dancing around. You also have this cool one. Lights flying by, you see? Like the bats are flying by almost. You can really set them to whatever you want, so this is, this is great. We'll see what Nano Girl came up with, but I think this one's a winner. Oh, my God.